Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is the first part of my C tutorial programming series. So um, let's get into it. What you see in front of you right now to the left is an editor and to the right is a terminal. Um, <clears throat> and I'm running Linux by the way. Now most of the things I will tell you here probably works on Mac as well. If you're, uh, if you're doing Windows, you're pretty much on your own there. I won't be able to help you a lot there. But uh, uh, no matter where you will write your C code, the uh, same um, rules and, uh, and uh, structure applies everywhere. But um, just keep that in mind that most of the things I tell you here will work on Linux and Mac. I don't know about Windows. So anyway, to get started with C programming, you first need a C compiler. And most Linux distributions comes with the GCC compiler, which is the GNU C compiler. Uh, you can check if you have it by open it, opening a terminal and type GCC. And as you can see, I have it because uh, it tried to compile something. Okay. Second thing you want to have is some kind of editor to edit your C files. I'm using Vim. And uh, that's pretty much it. You need a C compiler and you need an editor. So let's get started. In this video, we're going to write a simple Hello World program. I have created a folder called C tutorial and I'm going to uh, create another folder inside of here called, uh, let's call it part one, okay? And in part one, I'm going to create a main.c file. Now, this is pretty common to have. If you're writing a C program that is going to be an executable, you're gonna need a main function. And the main function is the entry point of the program. So let's create this main.c file here. Okay. I'm going to go into that file and we're going to start editing this file. So as I said, the main entry point of your program is the main function. And the signature for that one looks like this. Int main int argc char argv. And as you can see, this function is going to return an integer. And what does that mean? Well, um, when a program finish, finishes, it's returning some sort of st status code to tell other programs that might be using it if it was successful or not. Now, if you uh, return zero, this means that the program was successful and there were no errors. So we want to return a zero here, okay? We're basically saying that there are zero er errors, basically. Okay, then we you see here that we have uh, some arguments for this function. Now, we will not be calling this function with those arguments. Uh, these arguments will be populated when we uh, execute our program. So let's go through these arguments. Um, the first argument int argc is how many arguments uh, that were given to the program. <clears throat> and the uh, char uh, pointer list here is a list of strings basically, which is the length of argc. And this is a list of arguments that were given to the program. Now, there are multiple ways of defining this uh, string list here or uh, specifying it in the argument, uh, in the main function arguments, but we're gonna use this, uh, this way of describing it. So we will go through arguments in another video. Let's just uh, ignore those for now, okay? 
Now, what we want to do is uh, we want to write a hello world program. So we're just going to print hello world when the program has been executed. So to do that, we're just going to use the print f function. Print print f. Okay. Now this function expects a string. So we can say hello world. And by default, when you're printing, it's not going to print a new line. So we have to tell that to we have to uh, specify that explicitly. So I'm just going to type backslash n for new line. Okay. Now, we can't just call this uh, function. Uh, we don't actually have this function defined yet. So we have to include an external header file to be able to use this function. Now you can see a header file sort of like a library, I guess. Um, so what we can do, or what we should do in order to use this function is to include that. Now, let's just try to compile this uh, without including it and see what happens. So now I'm going to show you how to compile our main.c program here. So I'm going to type ls to see where I am. Okay, I'm not in the part one folder, so I'm just going to go into the part one folder. And here I can see my main.c file. So to compile it, I simply type gcc main.c. Okay. And as you can see, we got some, uh, some warnings here. And uh, if I do an ls now, we can see that our program was actually compiled even though we got warnings. Now, we should probably fix those warnings, okay? And as you can see, a file was generated here called a.out. And that's the default name of the executable when you, when you compile a C program, at least when you're using GCC. So, and by the way, I'll put some links in the description for, uh, for where you can get GCC if you don't have it. Okay. So now let's fix this, let's fix this warning. Okay. So we're going to include stdio.h, which basically is the standard standard input output header file for uh, it contains standard input output functions for C. Okay, so now if we compile this program again, gcc main.c, we got no warnings. Okay, cool. So how do we execute this program now? Well, we do um, dot slash a dot out. And as you can see that it prints it hello world. Cool. Now there are some other things you can do with this function as well. Um, for example, maybe we want to maybe we want it to print some sort of name. Or uh, we, we can actually include another string inside of this string here. So we can do percentage s, which means that we will give this uh, this uh, uh, we will format this string and put another string in it. So this percentage s means string basically. So now we can give this function another string. We can say John, for example. And this John string here will be put where the percentage s is. So now if we compile it again, gcc main.c, and we run the function or we run our program, we can see it print hello world John. Cool. What if you want to put an integer inside the string? Well, now we can do uh, percentage D. Okay. And we can do an integer here. Let's put 64. And let's compile our program again. Run the uh, executable that was generated. And we can see it printed hello world John 64. So that's how you write a simple hello world program in C. And I will put links in the description for how to get the compiler. 
and uh, maybe some other useful links as well. And there are actually multiple compilers that you can use, but I prefer the GCC one. It's pretty standard. A lot of people are using the GCC one. So in the next video, I think we will go through how to use these arguments a little bit. And I'll see you then, I guess. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. And also hit the bell button if you don't want to miss any of my uploads. I think uh, this C programming series will be very fun. And uh, yeah, I really like the C language. A lot of people have this idea that it's very difficult or uh, very complex. But my opinion is that it's very, it's very simple in a way that it doesn't have a lot of cool features that modern languages have. And uh, because of that, I think the, the code becomes very readable in a sense that it's very obvious what's going on. There isn't a lot of magic going on in C. It's pretty straightforward. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.